Do you like water activities such as fishing and boating? How about spending some time at a local winery or maybe going for a leisurely bicycle ride? Won't want to miss where we are today. I'm Holly. If you want to know everything about the Richmond metro area, well, you have come to the right place. On this channel, we talk about what it's really like to work, live, and play in RVA. I have people reaching out to me on a regular basis who are thinking about moving to the area or maybe just have questions, and I love hearing from y'all. Give me a call or shoot me a text at 804-380-6041 or send me an email, whichever is most convenient. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. Today, we are out in the eastern part of Henrico County where there are tons of things to do. Be sure to stay tuned until the end because I'm going to actually take you inside of a local townhome so you can get a feel for what inside looks like as well as the outside. So one question that I often get from my clients is what is there to do in this area? What are some things that I can look forward to participating in? Well, let's talk about some of those things real quick today. You have local wineries that you can go and enjoy the festivities, try some of the local wines that are made right here in this area, or maybe participate in some of the outdoor activities. There's oftentimes cornhole and croquet and some other fun things for everyone to enjoy. If you are into water sports, be sure to check out Osborne Landing, which is not too far from here, where you can put your boat in and go out on the James River for a while, or you can just sit and enjoy the uh, view of the water. There's also a playground area, and don't miss the local restaurant called the Lily Pad, where you can enjoy a wonderful meal and look out over the water. And oh, if you're a fisherman, don't miss the catfishing in the James River, as well as some other fish. It is super fun to go out and catch catfish. We went out a while back and we were on the boat actually. I had caught a catfish and was reeling him in and he was fighting. I thought I had a monster on the line, but he was pretty good size. Not an award winner though. There's definitely some of those that come out of the James. Also, as I mentioned earlier, there is a bike trail called Capitol Trail just down the way. It's about a 55 mile trail where you can either take a leisurely bike ride for pleasure or some professional bicyclists also travel along that trail. There's lots of history and things to check out along the way. Don't forget to click on the like button down below. It really helps me to know that you're enjoying this content and I can make more of it. Also, if there's a particular area that you'd like for me to explore for you, leave a comment below. Let's explore New Market Village, a subdivision out in eastern Henrico County. This particular area is very unique because it's a combination of townhomes and houses. Now, I know you said uh, you might say, Holly, we've seen townhomes and single family homes in the same subdivision before. Well, not quite like this, because literally on one side of the street, you might have a strip of townhomes and on the other, you have single family homes. This area also has sidewalks, which you don't see a whole lot of in the Richmond Metro, but that's certainly nice to have if you wanna go out and stroll or walk your dog. We're gonna check out the clubhouse and the pool as well towards the end of the tour of this area and some other amenities. We're gonna head on inside one of the townhomes in this development. This particular one was built in 2013. There are some newer ones in the area. You'll see as we walk in that it's an open concept layout. You have the kitchen here to your left with dark cabinets and uh, pretty stone countertops, stainless steel appliances, um, and a large pantry there in the corner. You can see the big bright open entryway where you can greet guests and um, welcome them into your home. The one car garage is there to your left and then full circle we have a large family room. 
perfect for entertaining. You can um, have your guests enjoy watching a football game or just chatting while you are over here preparing maybe the evening meal or some snacks. You can see that there is a slider there going out to the backyard, which is an extremely large area for a townhome. It actually can be fenced in, I'm told, by the homeowners, um, and the HOA will still maintain the yard area even with inside the fence. It stretches back almost to where you see the mailboxes there. Okay, let's head upstairs. Also on this level is a very nice half bathroom. So when you have guests, they can use that and don't have to traipse through the rest of the house. A pretty window halfway up the stairs. Up here on this level, you will see some um, hard flooring. At the top of the stairs is a large primary bedroom suite with lots of natural light. You see the double window there. You have a large um, primary bathroom with a sofa tub and sh a standalone shower, and double vanities, and a large master closet. Just down the hall is a second bedroom here and another bedroom or an office, which is what this particular home is using it for. And of course, you have the hall bathroom with a full tub shower combo. Now this particular uh, unit does have a tankless water heater, um, which is in the attic, and then the heating and cooling system is in this closet here. The HOA um, is on a monthly basis for this particular complex. It's roughly $170. It includes the community area maintenance, exterior maintenance for the building, lawn maintenance, trash removal, snow removal, and I can't forget the pool, which is a nice added touch. I know oftentimes schools are very important to my clients, so I always like to mention which schools the subdivision is currently zoned to attend but always remember zoning can change, so I'll leave the link in the description below so you can get the most up-to-date information if it has. This particular subdivision is zoned to attend Baker Elementary, John Rolfe Middle, and Verona High School. And don't forget to also check out the SOL score webpage that I'll leave in the description below. All you have to do is go to the link, click on the year for the SOL information. Remember, it's going to be the 2018-2019 school year. 2019-2020 information, they did not do the SOL. Another question that I oftentimes get from my clients is about the utilities. Electric is with Dominion, Virginia Power typically in this area. If you have natural gas in the complex such as this one does, then that would be through the city of Richmond. And then your high-speed internet and cable television, typically in the Richmond Metro, you have two options, Verizon Wireless and Comcast. You also have the option for satellite television if you prefer going that route. And of course, your water and sewer is with the county. Down in this area, we have the Richmond International Airport, which is just down the road. The good thing about that is if you travel for work a lot or if you go on vacations and need to access the airport fairly regularly, it's just a few minutes away by car. The disadvantage might be if you do not like hearing the occasional airplane fly overhead because you will, regardless of what subdivision in this area, may have that. The other disadvantage for this particular subdivision anyway is that you will oftentimes hear sirens from the local fire department. The plus side of that is with your homeowner's insurance. Henrico County Fire Department is a level one rating for ISO which means that your homeowner's insurance oftentimes will be less in Henrico County than some of the other areas in the Richmond Metro. Also, 
be sure to mention to your homeowner's insurance the proximity of the fire hydrant. This particular unit has two fire hydrants, one right across the street and one towards the back of the side of the house. Let's talk employment opportunities. There are lots of different businesses down in this area. West Rock is one example. Facebook is just down the way and also a large United States Postal Service facility. Now, I saved the best for last, in my opinion, Nabisco, because as you drive past on your morning commute, you can oftentimes smell the cookies baking, and if the wind is blowing just right from this subdivision, you can smell them from your front porch. So what do you think? Does this look like a great place to work, live, and play in RVA? Come join me. I'd love to show you around. Give me a call or shoot me a text at 804 380 6041 or send me an email, whichever is most convenient.